Hi, welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. I've reached an exciting stage with my tilting recumbent velomobile prototype project, namely the making of the rear wheel. Here it is. So this video is not about the wheel, but it is about how I made this little gadget, which is a spoke spanner, spoke wrench. Um, it's a bit of a filler video, really, to keep you going until next time. Um, I'm halfway through making this wheel, um, but I haven't done the spoke tensioning yet, and I needed a little spoke spanner to do that. Um, so I'm working on the video for that at the moment. It's going to take me some time to produce it, so I thought that in the meantime, I'd just do a little movie of making the spoke wrench on the Myford lathe. This is the wheel so far. Um, it's a 20-inch wheel with a Kinlin TL21 rim. Uh, I've got the spokes, of course, and the hub is a Shimano Inter 8 8-speed eight hub with coaster brake. The reason I've gone down this road is firstly because it's actually quite difficult to get 20-inch wheels in the UK, certainly the type that I wanted, so I thought I'd uh, learn something and make my own. The reason for going for the coaster brake and the 8-speed internal hub is it keeps everything very simple. Um, I don't need a separate brake disc, brake caliper, brake lever, it's just a back pedal brake which is very simple and effective um, and although the hub is quite heavy it does save all those peripheral components so uh, on balance the weight is probably evens up more or less I would say. Uh, the internal hub gearing is also for simplicity, it means I don't need the rear derailleur, I don't need the cassette, I don't need, um, yeah I think that's all I don't need. Probably some other stuff I don't need, but who cares? Uh, anyway, and it's just relatively easy to fit this to the frame without messing around with fittings and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit heavier than um, you might expect from a normal rear wheel, but there's lots of advantages in going down this route. Anyway, let's get on with watching how I made this little aluminium spoke wrench. Basically, this is what it looks like. So it's going to be a sort of cone of aluminium, 20 mil long, 25 millimetres in diameter. I'm going to knurl this piece. There'll be a slot cut through it to the halfway line uh, and I'm going to make it out of aluminium.
and the Kremlin Crimea was the high point of Putin's second act. So I've finished in the workshop for today. It's too late for tea, so I think it's time for a beer. Cheers.